this is my kind of rundown of the Viking Oxygen. It's not your normal kayak, it's Viking's take on a surf ski. So it is roto molded, 18 feet long, 24 inches wide. But I wanted to take this thing, put it through the paces. You can tell it's fast, you can already see that. But I took it out into the bay in the chop to try some downwind paddling. Um, I'm 6'4". I wish it had a couple more inches of leg room on it. So it left my knees sticking up a little bit. But I'm getting up to speed. I got 9, 10 miles an hour out of it. But some of these waves are a little tricky. It feels different. The balance is different. And when I shift it around, whoops, I got thrown off. All right, so uh, I knocked the pedal loose. It's okay. It's, it's it, They adjust, so all I have to do is pop it back in. It's fine. But first things first, can I get back in this skinny kayak out in the chop? So I rolled myself on. I'm not in a hurry. Uh, I'm kind of making sure that the waves, where are the waves, and have I got a chance? I'm going to shift my, my hand back a little bit. Wait for that wave. Roll your butt in, and then sit back on it. Put the pedals back into place, right back to playing. Uh, it worked fine. Where I really love this bow is in the river. Um, it's not all it's good for, but this boat, to me, this boat really excels at just being a good kayak for exercise. Man, it's fun because look how fast it is, and I'm not pushing, I'm just tooling along. Um, I paddled 13 miles this afternoon after work. And I love the new Oasis up there above all the houses and everything. It's It suddenly turns wild. And it's kind of skinny. It's crowded and kind of choked out with trees. So you really have to be able to maneuver and get through. Uh, and this boat does that very nicely. And it moves fast enough. <laughs> Any of those snakes drop off the limbs. They can't catch me to get on my kayak with me. So I'm kind of going through. You can tell I'm just kind of going pretty easy. I did that for three straight hours just paddling and uh, it works well. I do have to put a water bottle you kind of have to wedge it between your knees just because there's not a lot of surface area to put it on. Uh, but this kayak is fun. It's got that wide kind of a duck shaped nose on it. It's a skinny kayak underneath. That actually works as a kind of a spray bow um, to as you're as you're working through uh, surf and choppy conditions that allows you to stay on top of the waves and it keeps you from burrowing down in and digging in in choppy stuff uh, but on on the river love the way this thing works yeah it's a skinny boat but you can see it's 24 inches across but there's room to sit on it it feels comfortable it doesn't feel tippy or or like it's going to run out from under you it's just kind of fun to paddle and speed is a lot of fun if you haven't tried that if you haven't been able to get this kind of speed out of your kayak there goes a little gar um, you should try it this is fun and it really makes it where you look forward to getting in the kayak and just putting some miles in and after all half the time if I can't fish I want to go kayak because it's fun exercise especially if you can get some speed and the oxygen will definitely do that for you. It does have a couple of six inch uh, hatches. They're sealed, they're typical Viking sealed hatches, so they are waterproof. You can put your keys, you can put your boots in, you can put your drinks in there. And I did get permission to put one camera mount on the boat so you can kind of see what it's like. And I'm gonna tell you what, a fast kayak just to go play for fun and this is a roto molded 59 pound kayak it's it's not like my stealth where I'm a little afraid to put that expensive toy in a river where I might run into a log and, and damage the rudder or something so you guys owe it to yourself get a hold of Ryan Ford uh, with Viking kayaks and ask him if you can check this boat out